All right. Uh, now uh, I want to show the paint effects tool, which is a pretty quick way to get a bunch of grass and trees uh, with very minimal effort. So to use the paint effects tool, we go to generate and uh, template uh, get brush. Okay, it's going to open up the content browser, and you can see there's a bunch of folders on the side. We've got the paint effects folder is open by default, and there's a whole bunch of different things that are varying degrees of effective. Um, you know, some of these are, are kind of cheesy and basic, but I think it works really well for uh, foliage. So I'm going to start with the grasses folder, and we'll go with grass clump. So I'm going to select that, and we can actually, uh, if you double click on the, the tool icon on the left side, you can see there's a few different options. Uh, I'm just going to keep it at the default, and as I hover over my viewport, you can see I get a little red circle. This is telling me where I'm going to draw or paint this effect, and I'm going to use it sparingly, but let's say maybe by the front, uh, by the fence up front, I'm just going to draw, and you can see Whoa. we've added some grass. Okay. No words of warning about the the paint effects tool is this is a very easy way to add a whole bunch of geometry and really slow down your renders so I'd encourage you to use this sparingly what I would not do is grab the paint effects tool and adjust the scale all the way up and just add a bunch of grass everywhere because it's just gonna slow everything down quite a bit. Like, this is just way too much grass. <laughs> right? So don't do that. Use it sparingly. Use it uh, strategically. But once you add it, you can uh, kind of center the pivot here. Uh, I've recentered my pivot. I can scale this, and I wouldn't, I would just scale from the center. But you can adjust the scale to fit your scene and exactly where you want it. So maybe I've got some grass there. Um, if I need to adjust the coverage area, the size, you hold down B, B. and left click and drag. Yes. You increase the size, you can see that it also increases the relative size of the grass. So now we have a forest that has uh, consumed this little cottage. So I'll probably scale that down quite a ways. But maybe we've got some grass sticking up between the stones. You can also adjust the type of grass that you're using. Maybe you want to go with a nice Bermuda grass. You can select that. And you can see how that adds. I can see, so that's how Bermuda uh, grass looks. I'm going to undo that because I don't particularly care for how that looks. Um, there's an AstroTurf option if you prefer something that looks super fake. Okay. So, um, and I'll talk about this more when we get to the rendering part, but just as a note, uh, if you are watching this later, in order to get these to render, uh, by default, these will render in the uh, Maya. Oh, let's let this think here for a second. Hopefully, I didn't just crash my notebook. Oh, okay. So, by default, these will render in the Maya software renderer. They will not render with Arnold. So, there's, there's one thing that you, or one adjustment you need to make. Uh, let me hit escape to cancel this render. There we go. So, if we change this to Maya software and hit render, It'll look one. It'll look crappier, but it will also. Pop up. I also have this way too high. I don't need. I don't need to be rendering 1080 for this. I can render much smaller images. Okay, so you can see that it pops up there. But if I go to 
uh, Arnold renderer, it does not render the grass. Because Maya goes really slow. There we go. Now it's rendering. And you'll see that grass uh, will not pop in. Uh, in order to get the grass to show up with the Arnold renderer, what you need to do is select the grass and go to uh, modify and convert paint effects to polygons. And basically that just makes it a real thing, a real mesh. And now when you hit render, that grass will show up. It'll take a second, but it will show up. That's rendering in. The other grass clump is not rendering in because I didn't tell that to be polygons. Uh, again, for this class we'll talk about that next week or the week after uh, when we get to rendering, but uh, just for posterity on the video, uh, that's what you need to do to get that to work. So that's uh, adding grass clumps, uh, but there are other options that we can add. See this cattails. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, we've got flowers. I would do uh, flowers mesh, and let's say, let's put some tulips in the window maybe. I'll choose the tiger tulip. I'll go over here to my window box, and maybe I will make the, the brush size a little bit smaller. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I added it to the ground, so I just need to move that up and over. How is the inside black? You can uh, bring them up and scale them and position them in the planter accordingly. And maybe let's also do maybe an iris. Again, these are popping up way far away. Let's center the pivot. Scale it down. Okay, so you can fill out that planter box with whatever plants you so desire. Uh, and then we also have trees. So if we go down to trees, we'll do trees mesh. And let's go with a, let's see, maybe go with a maple. Up there. And then let's put a tree right over here. And you can see as you click and drag, the tree kind of grows. And then once that finishes, another tree grows. And these are pretty large, so once you add them, again, you scale them down or scale the brush down before you do that. But now you can start to really kind of fill out the scene and make it feel more alive. And once you get those trees in, then maybe you want to go back uh, to the grass clump and maybe put a little grass around the base of the tree. Right. Just to help blend that in a bit more. As I'm kind of playing around with this, is I would encourage you, once you start adding these, keep the plants on their own layer. Because if it does start slowing down your scene, you can easily turn off that layer. So uh, to do that, you just select your, let's say I select all my trees, and I'm just going to go to my channel box layer editor, and then layers. If you click on this last uh, icon right here, just create a new layer and assign selected objects. And I can double click on that and we'll call it trees. Save. And now I can hide my trees very easily.